Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk to you about different options for lightweight backpacking bags. I found myself in an interesting situation recently. My sister, um, who also travels for a living and she likes to travel light, was trying out some different bags. And so when we got together last time, she had a lot of bags with her. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to film them and show you some different options of bags. They're all under, I think the largest one is about 46. I feel like when it comes to backpacking, it's kind of about the gear and it's kind of not about the gear. To some extent, you need to have certain gear to be able to enjoy yourself and enjoy what you're doing, and that gear is going to depend on the kind of trip you're taking and the activities that you're doing. But personally, I like to kind of get as little specialty gear as possible, and so I'm not spending an excessive amount of no uh, money or having too many things with me. One thing I really think it's important to invest in is a good lightweight backpacking bag or just a good pack in general because you want to enjoy yourself, you want to have easy access to everything you need, and you don't want to feel like you're uncomfortable carrying all your stuff around. And if you're like me, you pretty much live out of it, so it has to work for you in a variety of different scenarios. There are so many different bag options out there, and I don't think any one is better than the other. It all depends on what you're looking for. I'm going to show you the ones that we had on hand to give you an idea of different bag sizes, types, um, compartments, all of that. So check it out. Okay, so the first bag we've got, you may have seen before. This is the one I travel with right now. It's the Deuter ACT Trail SL. It's 28 liters. It's a pack made for women. And I really like it because of the fact that it loads from the bottom. You can open it up and you don't just have to stuff everything in from the top. It's got really great compartments for just about everything I want and could ever wish for. And it's comfortable to wear. They also make a pack for men. It's basically the same exact pack, just a little bigger. It's 32 liters. I feel like it's really important to be able to organize your bag the way you want to, which is why I'm so adamant about being able to load from the bottom. It's, it's really important to me. Then they made this same pack, which is basically the exact same thing, but 20 liters instead of 28. I was kind of obsessed for, with it for a while because I think it's so cute, but I feel like it still has the problem of looking like a backpacking bag. So then this is the Tom Bin 19, and it's incredible. My sister has it right now. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It actually fits way more than you would think. It fits everything I own except for my sleeping bag. And so it's, if you'll see, it has so many compartments and it looks really small. You wouldn't believe that you could fit everything you own in there, but shockingly, you kind of can. They also make a little larger one. I think it's a 25 liter. This is the Osprey Porter 46 liters. This one's good if you have more stuff. I, th I think it's a little big, but it's still small considering what most people travel with when they're backpacking. If you like to carry a suitcase, um, if you want a bag that kind of converts to a suitcase, this might be a good one for you because, as you can see, the straps stuff in and then there's a handle on the side. And again, it's got that great compartment that you can load in and open up completely and load like a suitcase, which I like. Then we've got, this is another Tom Bin bag. I think this one's 30 liters. Danny got it as an experiment. It's kind of overwhelming with the amount of compartments it has, but it might be good for you if you have a lot of um, like computer gear and cables, things like that. I'm not sure, but I think that they're, it could be useful for the right person. I think it's about 30 liters. <laughs> There's a lot of straps going on, but again, you can wear it as a backpack or you can stuff the straps in and carry it like a suitcase. Tombin has a lot of good bags. I'll put a link to that site in the description. Then I just wanted to include a couple day packs. This is the one I have right now. I love the ones that have the dual side water, bo uh, water bottle pockets. That one's like 20 liters, but it just gets so small. 
And this is another one. It's just an LLB in like classic with the two sides. And it stuffs into itself, which is good too. I wouldn't consider living out of those. They're definitely not durable. They're, they wouldn't be comfortable to put all your stuff in. But it's good to have a bag on hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it gave you some ideas of options for different bags and lightweight bags at that. I know everybody has their personal preferences, so if you have a bag that you really love and that works for you, definitely share it in the comment section below and maybe give some other people an idea of what they could use. And yeah, if you know anybody who's looking for an idea for their next backpacking trip, share this with them, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.